Hi, my name is Wendy. I am the owner of Tattered Angels and the inventor of Glimmer Mist. I would like to show you how to apply it to wood, which is my very favorite thing to do. It gives you amazing results. This is a little sleigh that we picked up at our local hobby store. And all I'm doing is spraying the Glimmer Mist in a little pile here, and then just taking a simple paintbrush and painting it on. It's really, really simple. You can spray it on too. You just need to kind of watch where you're spraying if you want to kind of keep the colors separated, okay? And that helps get it in all the little nick and crannies. Then what we're gonna do is give that a few seconds. You can even drag it around the table to kind of get the bottom. Kind of finish the second one here. And use the paintbrush to kind of give us our defined line for some separation. And it just soaks up the glimmer mist like crazy. Oops, forgot the front here. I'm gonna paint that area in so that we can keep it off the front, which we are gonna make the sleigh blue. Nice and frosty look. Okay. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take the frost. Don't forget to shake your glimmer. And we are going to, I'm just going to kind of go at this angle a little bit. And just start spraying. Don't forget, there's no such thing as too much glimmer mist. You just keep adding until you've got the intensity of the color or the pattern that you like. And it just soaks it up. Okay. I also have the slate out here and the frost and slate have been designed to go with our new frosty memory line. I'm just gonna add a little bit of darkness here and there. See how it just instantly changes kind of the overall look. Then if you don't, you take away too much, just go back and add some more frost in. Really simple, easy project. These make great gifts, okay. There's our little thing. We're gonna add our frost at the front here. Give it a little bit of a heat. It dries really fast because it's just gonna soak into the wood. Sprayed my hand. When this dries, it is so nice and shiny. It gives it a look all of its own. I think we need a little bit more on this side because it doesn't have quite a enough kind of character is what I like to call it. You can get the real nice defined looks, but I kind of like that collage altered, not so perfect look. Then once you get the look you kind of want, which I think so far looks pretty good. I'm missing a few spots I need to go back and touch up. What I'm going to do is put a clear coat right over the top. And that color is called Glacier. This color is very, very popular. It just adds a really, really nice top coat that is super shiny. And I'm just going to add that top coat right over the top of everything you see here. And heat it again and the shimmer just kind of pops out as soon as it starts drying. And we're gonna add a few embellishments. Don't forget, if you don't want to um, use all this glimmer mist as waste, you can run a paper tag or a piece of paper through it, pick it all up and create a really nice background. I don't know if you can see that shine there, but it's really coming out nicely. And again, this is just a simple little dollar Hobby Lobby purchase. 
and you just add the glimmer mist right on there and we've created a whole little project in seconds. The next thing I'm going to do is show you how to use our new glimmer glass pieces. These glimmer glass pieces are wonderful. They look like this. They're acrylic pieces that have been printed on, silk screened on, and have a really nice pattern to them. And we're just going to put that right on the front here. Nice little pattern. Then these are little snowman glimmer glass pieces. And keep in mind, the glimmer mask sticks to them. So if you want to make them shiny, I recommend spraying and just let them dry on their own. Whoops. And this is our glimmer chip piece. They're the same images, but one in the ephemera line, which is located right here, has the um, like a script and a, a printed detail image right on the back or right on them. So what I'm going to do is layer them to create a little bit of a staggered look and give you a layered look. And our glimmer chip pieces are all self-adhesive. So what I'm going to do is just peel off the back. We're going to set him right down inside our box and stick him on. Hopefully the wood is dry enough. And there you've created a nice little center piece for your table to put your Christmas cards in. Thanks. Have a great day.